Well, hello everybody, and today we are going to start with a choco flan. It's called Pastel Imposible, but we're going to start with the chocolate cake, and I'm going to cheat a little, so we're just going to use the chocolate out of a box. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pour it in, and like I said, we're just going to follow the instructions on the box, which is so much easier, and it costs for one and one fourth cups of just regular water. One cup, and then one fourth. And then we're gonna add half a cup of vegetable oil. And just my regular cooking oil, it doesn't really make a big difference. Half a cup. And then we're gonna incorporate the eggs. Okay, there's one. I like to throw everything in the box. I like to clean as I go. I don't like to have a big mess everywhere. And three. And now I'm just going to throw it in the mixer and let my machine do all the work. Start slow so that all of the flour doesn't fly into my face. I'm going to have my spatula on this so I can kind of... And right after this, we're gonna pour in the carnation milk. Super easy. Yum. And then we're gonna do the condensed milk. And then I have a little spatula. I'm gonna use it to bring out all the little stuff because we don't wanna waste anything in here. Just put like a little tablespoon of vanilla. So I'm just gonna pour it in there. Half a block of your cream cheese. This is in case you want it. You don't have to, but I love the taste of the flan this way. Okay. Okay, so I have my pot really hot, my saute pan, and I'm gonna add the sugar, because now we wanna caramelize it. So I'm just gonna spread it out and leave it because I just want the um, the sugar to burn down a little bit, not a lot. Two different ones. We'll do half here and half here. Mm -mm. Now, that chocolate cake that we had goes in first. Okay, I'm going to do half on here and then half here. Now we're going to add this on top of it and believe it or not, once it starts getting settled, this is gonna be on the bottom and the chocolate is gonna be on top. Even though you, it looks like it's getting mixed, it'll settle in. Something about science and physics. Okay, so we're just gonna let it sit a little bit. So we're ready to put them in the oven. They're gonna go in at 375 and we're gonna cover them with foil. Put a nice big piece here. And I'm gonna make sure that they're well wrapped. And I'm also gonna put water so that um, they can get steamed and not bake directly. In Spanish, we call it a baño maria. pour the water inside so I don't have to carry it. Just bring these out. Make 
maybe hold on and hopefully they go like that and two okay so new plan we're just going to do one at a time because with the foil it adds room it adds width to it so it didn't allow me to do that so i'm going to do one and then i'll put the other one in and another one okay so uh, i did both of them individually so they're going to cook either from like an hour to an hour and a half and we'll be back Smells delicious. Okay, so I just want to unstick it from the edges. I hope there's not a lot of meal and it's going to spread everywhere. Okay, here's a moment of truth. Let's hope it didn't stick. Let's hope it didn't. Fell right out. too sweet it's just perfect well thanks for joining me on my first YouTube video I am so happy and I hope that you guys follow me follow me on Instagram at Fabulosity follow me on YouTube give me a lot of likes give me a lot of shares and next week I'll be cooking something different maybe not desserts but you gotta watch thank you